today I will be transforming my daughter crib into a bed. Any item that I use in this video, I will leave a link in the description and if you plan on using them, I will really appreciate it if you use the link below. The crib came with this half size uh, blocker for to turn it into a bed, but my daughter kept falling out so I decided to turn the portion that was there before and make a full length so the first thing that i did is take the previous one and mark it to the same length and then i'm gonna cut this topper part off those corner pieces because this part have to come down and it's gonna allow it to slide straight into place now that i'm done cutting everything straight to here we go i also cut those top part off And make sure you send the part that you're gonna use because it's gonna make it easier to slide in to the top part now you're gonna knock i want to knock out the top part with a hammer make sure you place something on top of it so you don't damage it at first i started to hammer it down i thought it was gonna be hard to do but the remaining pieces i just uh wiggle them from left to right a couple times and they just come out really easily next i will be using glue to put everything back together and that should be enough to hold everything tight just add some wood glue and all of those holes After add glue in all of the hole, start aligning everything together, make sure everything is in the slot and then lightly start uh, hammering on top of it to drive everything into place. Once you're done doing this, you're gonna wanna slightly open your crib back up again of the bed. And then once you do that, the bottom part of the railing should fall into place, but the top part have nothing to hold on to because it's modified now. So you're gonna have to uh, pre-drill a hole. So when you drive in the screw, it does not split the wood. I use uh, one screw on each side, that should be enough to hold everything in. And my daughter and son, I have a three-year-old daughter and a one-year-old son. Both of them are on it at the same time, and like jumping on the side of it and it's holding on pretty strong. Repeat the same thing on the other side now. As you can see, the corner that I cut uh, is not matching the stand of the bed now. You can try to to match it with the same stand, or just uh, sand it off and wipe up, wipe off the dust to give it like a rusty, rustic look. That's what I did. I didn't stand mine. And this is everything that's how everything look at the end again i will leave a link in the description for all the tools that i use in this video have a good one